Imagine, if you will, a boy. A boy with the power to conjure up matter in his own free will. Living in a world of chaos and confusion. Able to call upon the wisest man who's ever lived. 80s comedian Rodney Dangerfield. This is The Pilot is Dead. Hello, welcome to The Pilot is Dead. My name is Matt Dressel, and each show we're going to take a look at shows that didn't quite make it past that crucial first episode. This week, we're looking at the 1990s gem, Where's Rodney? Starring Rodney Dangerfield and that kid from Big. No, no, the other kid. Hmm, actually... Really sure what I was expecting. Looks like he made a movie. We green screen explosion. I, I don't think we need that. Can much. you handle cash money in brown paper bag? Is this offensive? I can't really tell. Put my girlfriend in the movie. You want pierogi? Always with that thing. I wish, I wish I had money to finish my movie. Okay, moving on. So I was six years old when this came out, so I'm pretty sure I had no idea who Rodney Dangerfield was. I had missed the cartoon classic Rover Dangerfield, which I'm pretty sure the pitch for it was, Hey, what if I was a dog? Yeah, terrible impression, I know. But even as a cartoon, Rodney couldn't get any respect. Why, it's a dog's life and I love it. Las Vegas is the place for me. Now we're doing it. Come on, it's our night. We'll paint the town yellow. Yep, that exists. And so does this. I played hide and seek when I was three. No respect. No respect. Why they wouldn't even look for me. No respect. No respect. I was an ugly kid. I never had fun. No respect. No respect. They took me to a dog show and I won. Okay, we could go down the rabbit hole of bad Rodney Dangerfield career decisions, my five wives, but let's concentrate on this bad decision. The year, 1990. On the radio, Ice Ice Baby. In theaters, Dick Tracy. And just premiering on ABC, Twin Peaks. So NBC decided to air a pilot for a television show that they had already not picked up, which I'm guessing that the premise was, hey, what if I had magical powers? Okay, if you're coming here for impressions, you're going to be very disappointed. So, you had Rodney Dangerfield, the kid from Big, and a solid premise. Then, an executive at NBC said, Hey, what's Punky Brewster up to? That's right, Soleil Moon Fry is in this for some reason. Oh, Soleil. I had such a crush on you when I was but a boy. You Soleil'd me. (sighs) I remember when you were on The Wonder Years and... You were in that canoe with Kevin, and you wanted to go skinny dipping, and so you started to take off your sh- Brecken Meyer's also in this. You might remember him from the TV movie Camp Cucamonga, starring Jennifer Aniston, Jaleel White, Candace Cameron Blue. Basically, do you remember that cartoon where all of the cartoon characters from our youth got together to fight drugs? This was like that, except at a summer camp with no drugs and starring all the kids from TGIF. It was made by one of the writers of Saved by the Bell, who would then go on to make the utterly abysmal Saved by the Bell the New Class, which I only saw a couple episodes of, but I'm pretty sure got canceled and didn't make it past 143 episodes?! People watched 143 episodes of Saved by the Bell in New Class? I mean, the original Saved by the Bell only ran for 86 episodes, and that's a classic. I mean, uh, it still holds up. I am a direct descendant of the Nez Perce tribe who once lived peacefully in Oregon's Wallowa Valley. If you don't watch 85% of it. God, was everything we watched in the 80s and 90s just awful? Oh, that reminds me. Where's Rodney? My mother breastfed me through a straw. Where's Rodney? Well, my old man took me to the zoo. They thanked her for returning me. Where's Rodney? Okay, so let's meet our main character. Hi, my name's Rodney, and I'm 13. So wait, his name is also Rodney? Or is he Rodney Dangerfield from the past? 
and he's calling upon his future self to help him? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure this out as we go along. So this kid starts sexually assaulting this girl in the middle of class, and Lil Rodney throws a banana at him. And then his teacher, not acknowledging the banana or sexual assault, calls him up to the front of the class and naturally asks him, Hey, what are you going to do with your life, Rodney? His response? I don't know. I just know I don't want to be like everybody else. And the teacher says... I can relate to that. <laughs> and apparently that's the punchline. So Lil Rodney says... He'll do better in class, and he'll figure out what he wants to do with his life. Great. We have our goal for the pilot. This kid's gonna figure out who he is, which I am assuming is Rodney Dangerfield. You know what your problem is? You don't pay attention. No. The problem is... I don't get no respect! Well, there goes that theory. Okay, so this kid isn't Rodney Dangerfield, but he's obsessed with Rodney Dangerfield. I'm talking life-size cardboard cutout in his room obsessed. And I hope you like that character trait, because it's quite literally the only thing you're going to get out of this kid. Oh, and he wants to get with this cheerleader, but he can't stop saying weird, rapey things. I better go change. You need help? <laughs> okay, so Lil Rodney has a new goal. Get the girl. But who can he turn to? Rodney Dangerfield. That's who. Now, what would Rodney say to her? I could really use his help just once. I'd like to talk to him. And who better to give advice about women than Rodney Dangerfield? Because Rodney Dangerfield has nothing but respect for women. Oh, and waiter, bring a doggy bag. No offense. <laughs> so Rodney starts to feel weird, and then this happens. I feel weird. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, I tell you. I gotta get out of here. Rodney? And how does Rodney react to being teleported to a completely different location? What am I doing back in high school? I knew I should have graduated. I don't get it. So both of them immediately accept this newfound power and Lil Rodney decides to ask Rodney Dangerfield for some advice. It's at this point that it becomes very, very clear what this series is going to be. Kid, I know what you're going through. Girls always gave me a hard time. There was one girl, she told me, come on over, there's nobody home. I went over, there was nobody home. It's just stand-up. It's just Rodney Dangerfield's stand-up material shoehorned into a television show. How in God's name did they think they could get seasons of material out of this? So after less than three minutes of screen time, Rodney Dangerfield disappears. But he gives some advice to compliment the girl. Compliment the girl. That's his advice. Great job, Rodney. So Lil Rodney compliments her in the most Buffalo Bill kind of way. I just wanted to tell you that I love your eyes. I love your nose. I love your skin. I love the way it covers your bone structure. <laughs> and it works! Thank God Rodney told him to compliment her. Now it's time to meet the family. And we're going to be spending a lot of seasons with these characters, so we better get to know them. There's the mom, the dad, and the sister. And boy, do they exist. The mom cooks, the sister goes on dates with cruddy guys, and the dad doesn't know how to wear a hat. Oh, and the dad's also a plumber. And apparently, one of his customers is having sex with a dog. You're not supposed to wash your dog in the tub. <laughs> I don't care if the two of you take a bath together. <laughs> Look, I don't want to know about that. That's not a natural relationship. Hey, they wrote it, not me. Besides, your golden retriever sheds. I think she does too. <laughs> oh, women are the worst. Uh, I met a girl today. You did? What's she like? Is she smart? Is she pretty? Does she shed? <laughs> I mean, it was funny the first time, but there's a problem. You see, little Rodney always goes and hangs out with his grandparents after his birthday party, but he wants to go on the double date. What's he gonna do? <laughs> he asks Rodney. <laughs> the music. He hears the music. Hey, kid, don't make this a habit, will you? Listen, I got the date with Cindy, but I'm supposed to go out with my grandparents, and I don't know what to do. And now, it's time for more stand-up. Today's topic, old people. Because I'm getting old, are you kidding? My insurance company sent me a half a calendar. <laughs> oh, 
told you, kid, I got a kidney shaped pool with a stone in it. Okay, so I'm finally starting to see the structure of this show. You've got the setup, which introduces a problem. Then Rodney comes. He does a bit of a stand up. The kid kind of reacts. Why? Seriously, why isn't he laughing? And then you wash, rinse, repeat. Same thing over and over and over again. This time, Rodney's advice go on a date with your grandparents. Ah, right, kid, don't do whatever you want. Why don't you go to a concert? Hey, you four can see you too. <laughs> oh, and be nice to old people. Just remember, kid, be nice to your grandparents, okay? Family's important. Remember, you can't forget your family. They won't let you. Rodney out. Now, if you excuse me, there's a princess to be saved. That makes no sense. Now, I don't think you would have guessed this, but Rodney's advice works. The girl is smitten, the grandparents are happy, and Lil Rodney knows exactly where they're gonna go. They're having a Rodney Dangerfield Film Festival. Who's that? Because old. Wasn't this show supposed to be about him figuring out what he wants to do with his life? I mean, I guess we'll get that in episode two, which 100% will happen. So everything is neatly wrapped up by the end of episode one. Lil Rodney impressed the girl, went on a date, and she ended up with the rapist. Wait, what? That's the ending you're going with, show? That guy who had one five-second scene at the beginning of the show? In comedy, we call that a callback. And then Rodney appears, makes one final joke, and that's it. Also, I love how they abandoned the whole teleportation method in the very first episode. Like, he kind of just casually saunters in like a ghost. Now he can just do whatever he wants and teleport at any time to any place. So that's Where's Rodney? Rodney Dangerfield would go on to live to the ripe old age of 82. And on his deathbed, when he was asked what he'd want people to remember him by, he 100% would not say this show. See you next time. What's the matter, Rodney? Oh, it ain't easy being me. It's just rap Rodney. Ain't rap too tight, no, no. Rap Rodney. Get out of sight, it's